today's video we use a hairdryer we try and figure out how to use a butter knife and we split a headlamp unit right welcome to the kitchen sink and we're going to be taking these headlights from this to this now what's involved is heating up the glue, the sealer that holds this glass onto the, the headlight unit. For that we've got a cheap hair dryer Ideally you want some plastic trim tools. I've not got any with me but this butter knife has done the job just fine. Um, and then a screwdriver or I used a set of side cutters just for the, the spring clips that hold the, the glass in place. And what we're removing is this orange piece of plastic. So let's get to it. So first thing is to remove these spring clips. There's four of them, two on the top. two on the bottom and you can either get a screwdriver onto them and just flip them off or I've got some side cutters and I'm just going to just just grip them grip them and flick them. Hey, that's not a bad catchphrase. Grip them, flick them. There we go. Grip and flick. Grip and flick. So that's that. And that's all that holds that glass on, really. All that's left now is just the, the sealer, the glue that's uh, that's there. Grab the hair dryer. <clears throat> hair dryer. And just five minutes or so. Just gonna hold the heat on just along this top edge. Just five minutes or so before I even start sort of prising the glass away from the plastic. about five minutes or so with the heat and I just want to sort of gently work the knife or the, the trim tool along the top try and sort of get underneath and around the back and just gently prise the glass out obviously uh, a butter knife has got a bit more flex in it than a screwdriver so I wouldn't recommend using a screwdriver and look at that I've also got Some glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth just because inside of there there's some 
a moth, I think that is. Crusty moth. So we can give this glass a good, good clean out on the inside. Just put it somewhere safe for now. Same with sort of the chrome in here. It's got sort of a, a light dust in, so we'll give that a clean up as well. Now this is what we're into. This orange trim, uh, this orange plastic, there's a little tab around the side there. A little tab. It's the only one I can see and access. So just give it a give it a prod and then you just have to sort of rough it out really. Like that. It should come out this one. It's actually come out in one piece. All the tabs are still intact. So it can be put back in if uh, if you want to change the look again. But that's that. Removed. Just grab the glass cleaner and just put the light sprays with that. Go over all the surfaces, get that chrome hopefully back to a nice uh, nice reflective shine. Plus it just gets rid of any uh, any dust and debris that's hanging around in there. We'll get a dry cloth. Just buff. Buff the chrome to a nice shine. That'll look loads better behind that glass once we do that inside of that glass as well. Grab this, do the same. Now we can reassemble it. So you can either put some fresh silicon <clears throat> around around here, or what I do, just grab the hair dryer, heat it up, and then I just sort of reapply it. Just smear it over so there's an even coating along that uh, along that crevice there and then we'll apply a bit more heat pop the glass back on and then fit these spring clips again and that is job done Just notice how I'm keeping the heat sort of in the area that I'm trying to uh, trying to manipulate. Right, so that's now spread evenly. One thing you will notice along the bottom, bottom edge, 
there's a lot of dust and dirt sort of that collects on the glue and that's not an issue the only problem you'll have is if there's little stones there's a couple of little stones along there and you want to flick them out and on the first one I did uh, there was sort of broken glass as well I think the glass must have been replaced on one there was some shards of uh, no, it might have been an old headlight bulb perhaps but yeah any, any stones or bits of broken glass you want to remove from this lower section right let's just apply some heat for another couple of minutes and then we can put the uh, put the lens the headlamp lens back on I'll just give these a puff a few dirty fingerprints on from just reapplying that glue other than that let's get it back together back on press it squeeze it and the spring clips one two just squeeze it all the way around And there we go. So that's going to hold that on as it cools. That glue will set nice and solid. Um, I suppose if you wanted to, you could run a hose pipe on just to water test it, make sure it is watertight. I'm not going to bother because these lights aren't actually going on a vehicle. I've just done it just to show you how to do it. Uh, but one last thing. What I've just done, trying to get that last clip on, is broke this mount. So be careful not to do that. There we go. Job done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. For more Project Career. Like, share, subscribe. The Car Lovers Channel.